start from the ventral tegmental area and they go to wide areas of the limbic system and the wide areas of the cortex and they are respectively referred to as the mesolimbic and the mesocortical areas. So let's take a look at the mesolimbic projections. Where does this mesolimbic projection go? The mesolimbic projection starts from the ventral tegmental area and it projects to at least four well-known locations through the medial forebrain bundle which I mentioned earlier some of the fibers they go to the region here this is the entorhinal area the secondary olfactory cortex it is also part of the limbic system this is the entorhinal area this is broadman area 28 another component of the mesolimbic circuit goes from the ventral tegmental area also goes through the medial forebrain bundle and it goes to the amygdala which is located deep inside where my probe is it is located on the roof on the tip of the inferior horn of the lateral ventricle it is located deep it is not visible here a third component of the mesolimbic tract it goes to the septal nuclei which i mentioned earlier to the septal nuclei and the fourth component of the mesolimbic tract goes to the nucleus accumbens which I mentioned earlier which is located in the ventral striatum. So these are some of the important components of the mesolimbic tract.